What's up, Leo? It's West Coast Tarot with your September love general reading. This is for the lovely sign of Leo, Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading and may not resonate with every Leo out there, but if you like my style and I vibe with you, please like and subscribe to catch future West Coast Tarot videos. If you're interested in any of the tarot decks that I use, or if you want to purchase a personal reading where we, where we go more precisely into your situation, all that information can always be found down below, or you can always Google West Coast Tarot from my site, okay? So guys, this is a general, as always in a general, roles can be reversed, energies can be reversed, and cross watchers is very well may play out from your perspective. So please just apply it how it fits, and if it's not for you, it's definitely not for you. So tell me about Leo for the month of September or when the video finds a viewer. What is the energy surrounding Leo for the month of September in regards to love, for their highest good and clarity, what do we need to know, please? Tell me about Leo. Ooh, sorry, this deck is so heavy. Okay, so we have seven of wands, knight of coins, five of coins, two of blades, Seven of coins and two of coins. Bottom of the deck, we have Wheel of Fortune, Five of Wands. Okay, so there's definitely been some sort of conflict. <clears throat> definitely been some sort of conflict or um, issues in your recent life. I mean, <laughs> this whole year, right? <laughs> this year's just been a hot mess. Um, but, you know, Five of Wands, I definitely feel like there's someone you may be at odds with. Um, it could involve more than one person or just a very complicated situation. But I feel like it's all about to change. With the Wheel of Fortune, you're coming out of it. Um, and with this butterfly, there definitely is going to be some sort of major transformation. And I feel like you deserve it because you've been very loyal, okay? But you're chasing after something. And if you look here, there's also pentacles. There's coins here and a rainbow. So the rainbows come after storms, right? And also, I feel like you're going to be having some sort of good fortune come towards you. And this is coming from a period of bad luck or feeling like things haven't changed or just been kind of chaotic, okay? Because where you're coming from, we have the seven of wands. So again, I do feel like you were at odds with someone. I do feel like you were standing up for what you believed in or how you felt you should be treated. Um, I feel like there was someone who was very insensitive around you. Um, but I just feel like, you know, you took a stand. You made a stand and you did it because you were being true to who you were, all right? Tell me more, please. Where is Leo coming from? Why the Seven of Wands, please? Tell me about Leo, please. Where is Leo coming from, please? Yeah. yeah. You were very passionate. With the Queen of Cups here, there's something or someone that you love very much so. Okay. Um, but, you know, the Queen of Cups is someone who is a martyr. So sometimes they will make decisions... Um, even if it's a sacrifice for them, okay? So I feel like there was some sort of sacrifice made, and I feel like it was, it was a decision made in order to improve your life or improve a situation. You felt it was best. It hurt. But you felt it was the right thing, okay? How you're being seen right now, we have a knight of coins. So you're definitely working hard. You're definitely paying attention to detail, um, very concentrated. Some of you could be, you know, concentrating on work or looking for work or it's just your sole purpose right now, but you're definitely very busy right now. You're definitely being very busy and you're definitely, um, staying very focused on your goals. Why the Knight of Coins, please? How are people viewing Leo? Ooh. Yeah, see, a lot of you could be out of the public eye with the moon card here. This is, um, cancer energy. A lot of you could just be keeping to yourself, um, being very secretive, just kind of not really giving a whole lot out. Why the moon, please? Yeah, see, a lot of you are definitely just playing it safe. Um, you're probably spending a lot more time at home or work, going out very minimally, which I feel like a lot of people have kind of gotten used to, but um, you're not putting a whole lot out there and you're not wanting people to see a whole lot about you. 
whatever you are doing or whatever you are working hard on, keep doing it. Keep following that path because what's coming towards you, we have four of coins um, in reverse. Oh my gosh, I thought it was five of coins in reverse, four of coins in reverse. So actually, you know, I feel like whatever you're doing, it's going to help you to release. Um, whatever you have been holding on to, you know, things are definitely going to change for you. I just feel like you're moving on to a different chapter in your life. And it's because you have, um, you know, you've grown, you know, you realize your strength. What's coming towards you? What's coming towards Leo, please? You're definitely letting go of something. You're working hard. And you're starting a new chapter. Yeah, so you're letting go of a person. It's not suit it's not suiting you anymore. And you're going down the path of independence. And you know, that's a beautiful place to be, you know, making sure that your own foundation is set for yourself, that you will be happy or flourish no matter what part or what stage you are in life. And I feel like you know, you're you're setting yourself to be ready for the world. Okay? <clears throat> because mutually I feel like whatever you're moving on from, whoever you're moving on from, you gave the final notice. I feel like you were at a crossroads. Some of you could have had children with this person. And maybe that's why you held on for so long. Or there definitely was, you know, you know, other issues in the environment that prevented this situation from coming forward. You know, maybe someone did have a family. Maybe someone did have children. But whatever it was, you gave the final notice. You know, the wine has been spilled. And... I just feel like it's it's like not going back with you and this other person. I don't even think you want to go back, okay? What's the mutual energy, please? What's the mutual energy, please? Why the two of blades? Yeah, see, hope has been lost, and I feel like you're not really trying to heal the situation. I feel like you, you, know, you have healed already from this, and you're not trying to fix it. I feel like you've given up hope. No matter how much love or feelings were involved, I just feel like like it's it's like the cup's kind of empty now. Okay, it's not being nourished, it's not being filled up. And you're realizing no matter, you know, how much I did care for this person at one time, is it worth it? Is my time, is my investment, is it worth it? Because this person, how they feel about you, they feel like they put a lot of time and investment into the situation. They feel like they nurtured the situation. Um, a lot of you could have known this person for quite a long time or just had a history, a strong friendship. But this is definitely someone who feels like they invested in you. How does this person feel about Leo, please? But see, they procrastinated with something. There was something that they should have done and they didn't do. They procrastinated and because of that, they created their own conflict. There was something that they needed to be free from, um, untie themselves from, but they definitely played it safe, which halted the future growth and expansion of this connection, okay? Advice from Spirit is to continue to prioritize. Like a lot of you are just hustling, working a couple jobs. Um, but advice from spirit is keep doing you, um, keep working hard, keep getting your priorities together. It's all going to change. You know, it's all going to happen for the better. You definitely have this wheel of fortune coming towards you after a period of lack. So keep working on what it is that you're doing. What is the advice, please? What is the advice, please, for Leo for two of coins? And why the Nine of Cups, please? Yeah, see, you're, you're releasing something. You are now seeing things from a new perspective. Whatever you're walking away from, it's no longer emotionally fulfilling for you. You don't want to juggle with it anymore. You don't want to go back and forth with it anymore. You're just completely letting go and moving on to the next chapter. And, you know, ready for the world, ready to see what else is out there, no longer putting your life on hold. I feel like you guys are, you know, healing. And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you feel like you don't even need tarot reading anymore. You know, tarot is here 
for those who need guidance and clarity or to, to heal. But once you're healed, it's not supposed for, it's not supposed to be for you to be dependent on it, you know, or, you know, consult the cards every day about your life. It's there when you need it, but it's not something you need every day, okay? Angels, what message do you have for Leo for their highest good and clarity, please? Message for Leo for their highest good and clarity. Just one, please. One at a time. We have be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. And this is really beautiful, and I feel like this is more so relevant about ourselves. Um, I feel like we have to love ourselves first. No one can love us as much as we love ourself. And if you want to receive love, you need to be willing to radiate that energy that you do love yourself. So love yourself so that you can learn how to accept what real love is, okay? And not just be, you know, bamboozled or um, with someone who you think is love, but then you realize that they, they had issues. You can't change people. The only thing you can do is change yourself, okay? It says, have faith. Trust your faith in the situation. See, there's going to be a new beginning. It's going to be quite a bit of a change. But just have faith. Close your eyes and take that leap. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, it's going to be different, but it's going to be beautiful. And it's going to be a change of pace. Ooh, one more message. It says, miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. And that's very true. There are miracles and blessings all around us. There are gifts from the universe all around us. Um... All you have to do is, you know, believe, is to see it. Um, there's also a lot of negativity around us, but everything that we endure is for certain reasons to strengthen us in our life, okay? So, Leo, I'm going to leave it here. I wish you love and light. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want a personal reading. All that information can be found down below in the description box. Um, I will catch you on your next video. Bye, Leo.